Since the release of Deji's latest video, we've been speculating as to whether Deji may be fighting Alex Wasabi, Bryce Hall, and in that time, Bryce Hall has made a couple of tweets that hint towards a fight with Deji. Now, this is the stuff we've been looking for. We're a little bit concerned that Deji would not go for a fight with Bryce Hall, but it seems with these recent tweets that Bryce Hall has made, he, he, he does want to make it happen. As you can see here today, he posted these tweets saying, uh, all we want is Bryce versus Deji, with Bryce responding, it'll happen. Uh, Bryce also saying this year I'm stepping back in the ring only W's this year versus Deji he says we'll see what happens now this is obviously big stuff because I was a little bit worried as a lot of you probably were as well uh, that Bryce was going through some personal stuff on TikTok at the moment relating to some allegations that a woman made towards him which you know it, uh, he may be a little bit distracted in order to not sign the contract now you know we know wannabe Scarface Bryce Hall you know the Jorge Masvidal of TikTok you know he, he, he never backs down to a challenge he he will, he will fight whatever the cost. Now, also we know Bryce Hall is a young man, and young men tend to like to party a lot, as Bryce Hall does. So, you know, he's got to find a way to pay for those beers. Those beers, at the end of the day, they, they add up, you know, once you have a party every week. Now, we haven't really heard a lot about Bryce Hall when it comes to the boxing since the Austin McBroom fight. Obviously, it's a pretty embarrassing loss for Mr. 40 Street Fights, who, you know, was apparently the king of the streets uh, in wherever the hell he grew up in America. The tough Bryce Hall, uh, he, he's been pretty silent for a tough guy. You know, we haven't seen training footage, we haven't really seen seen him getting better. It's only been like, uh, his name's been thrown around, you know, when it comes to boxing rumours, because it's a nice name to throw around in the sense of he lost to Austin McBroom, but some people still think he might be quite interesting for a fight with Deji, and, I, and to, to be quite honest, it's the fight I want to see out of Alex Wasabi or Bryce Hall. I'd rather see Deji versus Bryce Hall than Deji versus Alex Wasabi, because first of all, I have good faith in Deji that he'd beat Alex Wasabi, and I just think the, the Bryce Hall fight's more dramatic. Pe more people would click into a pay-per-view, more people would buy the pay-per-view if it was Deji versus Bryce Hall, in my opinion. I, I, I think people are just less interested in Alex Wasabi, because, to be quite honest, do you know what Alex Wasabi is famous for? Because I don't. And I think Bryce Hall's just a little bit in more interesting because of the beef he had with KSI last summer, for example. And I think that carried on, you know, and it, it would be motivating uh, for Deji, hopefully, you know, to, to go and fight Bryce Hall rather than Alex Alex Wasabi. Now, I have a little bit of a worry for Deji, as some of you did in the comment section of my last video. I, you know, whilst watching the De whilst watching Deji's latest video, I was a little bit worried that he was starting to return to his old ways. This is what I imagined I would see. I would see some reformed guy, this Rocky Balboa-esque, you know, reincarnation uh, into Deji Olotunji, and he'd be, you know, running upstairs, lifting logs, uh, punching pig carcasses as Rocky was. Instead, I sort of saw like a slightly more motivated, slightly better in shape, a little more focused Deji, but I didn't see like a reformed guy. Like it was still Deji. He was definitely the joke man in the room. He was definitely the class clown. Now, I'm not saying he hasn't put in the work because it hopefully, fingers crossed, pray to the Lord he is. You know, I, I, I didn't see a new guy is what I'm saying. I didn't see a reformed Deji. I didn't see a David Goggins, Jordan Peterson, new purposeful, meaningful Deji. You know, I didn't see some great philosopher who's been meditating and who's come up with this all this wisdom and new ideas like I, I could still see it with Deji and that kind of worries me because it you know the thing is what we really wanted and what we really do need desperately need for Deji's next fight if he wants to win is to be a different guy pretty much you know like absolutely work until he cannot work anymore but I, I just you know there's something about there's something about the aura he gave off in that video and, and clearly it clearly it found its way to some of you guys as well because a lot of the comments were the same thing of you know I feel like Deji's gonna lose again I really 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 hate to say it and I pray that that, that this is not true but I can see where you're coming from. That video didn't give me completely new vibes that Deji is a new man. Now, fingers crossed my hopes are realised and Deji is a new guy and it's just, you know, Tom Fuller in the video and just he's excited to be back on YouTube, which is a fair feeling, obviously. He hasn't been recording for about six months. He's taken a long hiatus. It's fair to be excited to be back on YouTube, especially when you've been doing it for about the last decade. But I really, really hope that Deji is focusing in the right places and I hope we get this Bryce Hall fight. Out of all the fights, you know, 
I really want to see for Deji. If it wasn't Austin McBroom, which I do think would be a bit of a stretch, I think Bryce Hall's a manageable opponent, which he can beat, but also isn't too much of an easy fight that he will need to put the work in. He will have to go on those cardio long runs. He'll have to do those 10 mile runs up in the Peak District at high altitudes like marathon runners do in order to build up resilience. He'll have to do those strength and conditioning drills to develop that endurance so he'll be able to go into those longer rounds. He'll be able to go into the fifth, sixth round still going on full power. That is what I hope for Deji, and that's, I know what, what you all hope for him as well. Hopefully we get it. Hopefully we get it. But there was a vibe that was given off from Deji in that video. And it wasn't the vibe that he was a completely new reformed guy. You know, he was some meditative, you know, incredible new superhuman being. Like, it, it, I didn't really get that sort of vibe. However, I hope I'm wrong. And I hope Deji wins his next fight. And I really, really do want the best for Deji. As do all of you. So hopefully we get that. And hopefully this Bryce Hall fight looks to be coming a little bit closer with these sorts of tweets. You know, these are good signs um, that hopefully Bryce Hall will act upon these tweets and these aren't just, uh, you know, random stuff that he's saying. He's not, you know, being a bit of a Conor McGregor and saying he's going to go for a title shot. Hopefully, these tweets are actually realised and he actually puts this towards signing contracts and getting ready for this UK versus USA boxing event. It seems like Deji may be fighting on that. Uh, a lot of you, including myself, were pushing for Showstar Boxing to include Deji on the card after he released his video. So, fingers crossed we get that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very hopeful. I know you guys are hopeful. Thank you all very much for watching. Follow all my socials. The link will be in the description. Subscribe, and I will see you all in the next. Day, day, day. Had a haircut today. I'm not super happy about it. I did think about wearing a hat, wearing a hat, wearing a hat. Had a haircut today. I'm not super happy about it. I did think about wearing a hat, wearing a hat, wearing a hat. Had a haircut today. I'm not super happy about it. I did. Think